Hello, you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this. So my name is Maggie. I am from the Weller Center at Lehigh Valley Hospital. Some of you may have seen Weller Center presentations before. Some of you may have not. Now, of course, we are in quarantine. So I am at home <laughs> coming to you from my house doing this presentation. So for those of you who know who the well, what the Weller Center is, what we do is we go to schools, we do presentations on a bunch of different health topics. So we do things like depression, vaping, drugs, nutrition. We teach a bunch of different things. So we're very familiar with these different topics. Now, of course, we usually do them in class with you guys. We use clickers. They're very interactive, very fun. But unfortunately, school is canceled. So we cannot be coming to you live in front of you in your classroom. Instead, you get me in my house making it work along with my cat. He's going to be very distracted, guaranteed. So I'm gonna go through the presentation. We're gonna discuss stress during quarantine. Now, some of you may have seen our stress presentation before. So we talk about stress, we talk about what it is and ways to manage stress. Now we're gonna do something very similar today. We're gonna to talk about stress and what it means. And we're also gonna discuss how to manage our stress being in our houses, being stuck inside all day long, being in quarantine and trying to do our work while being stuck inside. Because believe me, from personal experience right now, it's not easy. It's really tough trying to get your things done while you're here at home. So let's get started. We're going to keep this nice and short so you guys can get back to whatever you have to do for school. And let's discuss stress during quarantine. What does that word exactly mean? So for those of you who've actually seen the stress program, you guys probably remember the definition of stress, I hope. So let's go over what stress means. What is that definition exactly? So stress is the uncomfortable feeling you get when you're worried scared, angry, frustrated, or overwhelmed. Now, I like this definition a lot because it talks about all those different emotions you feel when you're stressed out. So for me, when I'm watching the news and I see all these really thing, really scary things about corona, I definitely feel scared. That's how I feel when I'm stressed out, when I'm watching the news. And obviously, I don't feel scared all the time when I'm stressed out. Right now, I have a big pile of work that I have to accomplish, so I'm very stressed out about that, and I'm not scared of it. I'm more overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed by all the work that I have to get done that I've been putting off until the very last minute. So don't be like me. Get your work done. So what are some things that are stressing us out right now? Now, back when you guys were in class and I would ask you guys this question, I would get a bunch of different things. I would get things like, oh, your parents are stressing you out, homework, tests. Now, I'm sure a lot of those things are still stressing you out, but I'm sure those also have changed. Things have kind of shifted for us being at home in quarantine. So I'm sure the things that are stressing you out right now may not necessarily be the things that are stressing you out when you're in school every single day. So let's go over a couple of things that maybe you guys are thinking of. These are ones that I think I definitely get a little stressed out by. So one thing that definitely stresses me out and I think everybody else is COVID-19, the coronavirus. It's really stressful, you guys. It's stressful not knowing what's going to happen, especially if you watch the news all day long like my grandparents. They sit down and they watch the news from when they wake up until they go to bed. So they're definitely really stressed about corona because they're, they're seeing it all day long. They're seeing all these news articles. And that can be really, really stressful. It's really, really stressful having this virus going on. So it's really tough right now with corona going on. Another thing that's very stressful is managing school, especially being at home. Now, when you guys are at home, I'm sure you have a bunch of distractions. You have other family members. Maybe you guys have chores you have to do. So it can be really tough managing your schoolwork when you're here at home. It's really, really tough. Believe me, I'm well aware. It's really tough for me. I'm not used to doing all my work from home. So it's a really big shift going from doing your schoolwork all day long at school to now doing it at home. Another thing that's really stressing me out in particular is just being stuck at home. It really sucks being indoors all day long every single day. So being stuck at home can be very stressful, especially if you're arguing with your siblings, you're not getting along with your parents. It's, it's tough. It's tough being indoors and not being able to go anywhere else for a little while, a little escape. So believe me, I'm feeling it. It really sucks. And it's definitely stressful just being trapped inside. So those are things that are stressing us out. Now we have to find ways to manage them. How can we manage our stress? Well, we're going to go over a couple of them today. 
One really, really big and crucial way to manage our stress is time management. Not only when you guys are in school, but one day when you are old enough to work, we really have to work on time management. That is so important for our stress. So set a specific time to do homework. Now, I know for me, getting my work done at home is really, really tough. It's not easy doing my work done, my, getting my work done from home. So what I've been doing is I'm setting a very specific schedule of when I'm doing work because it's not like I'm going to work eight hours from home every single day. That's just not realistic. So what I do is I set my time from 9 o'clock until around 2 o'clock to get my work done. That is my work time. After that, it is free time for me. I can do whatever I want. So maybe you guys can do something similar. Set, set a specific time for homework. Maybe you want to get your homework done in the afternoon. So maybe set the time from 2 o'clock until 5. That time specifically is now homework time. You do nothing else except homework. That kind of gets you into a schedule because it's really tough being at home and not having that schedule that we're used to. Also, create a realistic time schedule. Now, like I said earlier, for me, I just cannot work eight hours straight from home. That's not how I work. So create something realistic, something that you know that you can follow because we're all different people. If you can sit down and get your homework done for eight hours, that's amazing. Fantastic. Congratulations to you. But a lot of people are not like that. So maybe do something like this. Set some breaks. Maybe you want to do a break. You'll go from nine o'clock until 11. You do homework then. Take a bit of an hour break, eat some lunch, and then pick back up at 12. Then from 12 to 2, you get some more homework done. Take another break, and then finally fish it out from 2 to 4. That is a realistic schedule, because honestly, working from 8 in the morning until 5 p.m. straight with no breaks is a little unrealistic. So give yourself those breaks. Go eat lunch. Go maybe read a book. Watch a little TV for a little bit and then come back to your work. When you do that, you're going to have a fresh head, you're going to have fresh ideas, and it's going to be a lot easier to accomplish your goals. Speaking of goals, it is time to set some. Set some goals. It's a lot easier to accomplish everything when you have a list of things that you need to do. So set goals for things to get done. So for example, maybe this Tuesday you're going to set a goal for today I'm going to get my math homework done and I'm going to clean my room. I do this every single day because if I don't, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to wander around mindlessly not doing anything. So what I do every single day is I create a list of all the goals that I have. So for example, my goals for today was to finish this video, then I'm going to do my laundry, and then I'm going to sweep my floor, and then maybe I'll hang out with my cat for a little while. <laughs> those are my goals for today. And I want to make sure that I accomplish every single one of those goals all day long. So this way I am getting things done. It makes me feel better when I have things that I accomplish. And I'm sure you guys feel the same way. So every single day, wake up, get a piece of paper, or just write it down in your notes somewhere. Set your goals for the day. So maybe you want to get your homework done, you want to study for a test, or get a project done. Fantastic. Even if it's just one goal. Even if your only goal is to write a paper. That's okay. That is okay to just have one goal. As long as you're doing something and accomplishing something, it's going to make you feel a lot more productive and then you can reward yourself. So if you write that entire paper, reward yourself by doing something fun, like watch TV for a little while or play a video game that you really wanted to play. Make priorities. So if you know something is due tomorrow, that should be the first thing on your goal list. And if you have something due maybe next week, that can go down a little bit farther on your list. So make sure you prioritize what's more important. So if homework is due today, you have all this homework, maybe make that your first priority. Another big thing to help with our stress is take a break from the news. So I have found myself kind of falling into this black hole of sitting down and just watching the news for hours and hours. And honestly, after I'm done and I go watch something else, I just have this terrible feeling in the pit of my stomach. That is called stress, my friends. I am stressed out from seeing the news and seeing these things with corona. So try to avoid the news. Change the channel, go watch something else. Go watch a movie for a little while, watch something fun that makes you laugh. Don't just sit there and watch the news all day long, especially at your age. You guys don't need a type of real, real life stress. You do not need to go that deep into adult world yet. Enjoy your life, enjoy childhood, and just kind of avoid the news, especially with things like corona right now, because it can be super scary. 
unsubscribe from news outlets on social media. So for me, for example, on Twitter, I'm, I like and I follow a bunch of different news outlets. I follow a bunch of different news programs. Now, unfortunately, when you do that, the only thing you see in your timeline are articles from the news. So maybe take a break, maybe mute them for a little while, unsubscribe, unlike, unfollow, just kind of make sure that your social media timeline is a little news free. So this way, every single time you open up social media, you open up Instagram or Twitter, the first thing you don't see is a news article about coronavirus, because that can definitely stress you out. Next, get outside. Now, I know we are all meant to stay indoors right now. We are trying to social distance. And again, that is incredibly important and we must follow it. But it is okay to just kind of get outside for a little while. Now, I'm not talking about going to a public place, don't go to the mall, or don't go to a super crowded park. Instead, do things that will kind of give you a break from technology and get you outside. So go for a walk. Go for a walk, like, around your block, in your neighborhood, with your parents, or even just hang out in your backyard. Just go sit outside in the grass for a little while, especially if it's really nice out. Take advantage of this nice spring weather because I know a lot of people because we're stuck inside all day we're sort of falling falling into that routine of just watching tv all day playing video games for example when quarantine first started I literally would wake up I would play animal crossings for about four hours and then I'd play another video game and then I'd watch tv that was really bad because I was just staring at a screen all day long and not doing anything. So now I try to make sure I set a nice walk in my schedule every single day. So every day I'll go out for a little walk, walk around my neighborhood, just get some fresh air. And honestly, I feel better afterwards. I'm getting that fresh air, I'm getting outside, and it's just kind of giving me a break from being in quarantine. And it feels really nice. So definitely make use of that. Get outside, take a break from technology, put your phone away for a little while. Next, try to spend some time with your family. Now, I know we're in quarantine, so that means we are with our family all day, every day. But maybe try to spend some time with them and do something fun. So create time to spend with your family or friends. Now, I know with friends that can be a little tricky because we are practicing social distancing, so we should not be hanging out with anybody face-to-face, -face, but we can make use of amazing technology. So I'm sure you guys are sick of using Zoom all day long but maybe use it a little bit more and Zoom with your friends. So use things like Zoom and FaceTime to connect with your friends. To get really creative. My friends and I have been having actually a lot of fun with this. So the other day we scheduled a Zoom session, me and all my friends, and we had a lot of fun. It was really nice just being able to talk to them, see their faces, and we actually were able to play some games while talking on Zoom. So get creative and do things like that. Do things that, you know, will just make you guys laugh and have a lot of fun. And I know when we do that, it kind of helps us all be at ease and relax a little bit. Also, make sure to take time to hang out with your pet. So like I've said, I have a cat at home. He is my best buddy. I love him so much. So maybe spend some time with your pet. Go play with your dog. Give your, take your dog for a walk. Play with your cat. Uh, feed your fish. Feed your turtle. Whatever pet you have at home. Maybe just hang out with them for a little while. Oh, definitely when I'm stressed out, I like to play with my cat, Thor, because he is honestly just the cutest little boy. Like, look at that face. Are you kidding me? Look at him. So definitely make use of managing your stress by playing with your cat, walking your dog, feeding your fish, I don't know, whatever pet you have. Definitely interact with them. Give them lots of love. Give them a nice scratch behind the ears like Thor loves. So definitely pay attention to your pet, because I know for me, when I'm hanging out with my cat, Thor, I feel a lot better. I feel like my stress goes way down, and I just feel nice and happy, and I'm sure he loves all the attention, like he always does. I'm actually, guys, I'm so bored. I made an Instagram for my cat. His name is Thor, God of Kitties, all one word. So please follow him if you guys want some really good cat content on your Instagrams. <laughs> all right, so let's get back to stress. Finally, one of the last ways we can help manage our stress is definitely doing things that you guys enjoy, things that really just bring you joy. So it's important to do your homework, of course, make sure you get that all done first, but take some time out of your day to just do things that make you happy. So take some time, maybe it's like an hour at the end of the day where you do something that genuinely just like makes you happy and that you really like doing. So maybe you really love playing basketball. Maybe you have a hobby that you like to work on. Maybe you have a favorite movie or maybe you have a, a really good video game that you like. Whatever it is, find something that makes you happy, something that you like to do. Having these things that bring us joy is actually one of the best ways to help manage our stress. 
So one of my favorite things to do is I love to play the game The Sims, The Sims 4 specifically. It's one of my favorite video games of all time and always will be. So whenever I'm just really, really stressed out by work or my family is driving me absolutely insane, what I'll do is I'll just kind of go on my own for a little while. I'll set an hour aside and I'll just play some Sims. Or maybe I'll go and watch my favorite movie. And honestly, when I do that, all my stress just kind of goes away for a little while. So set some time out of your day to do things like that. Maybe you love playing basketball. Maybe you have basketball basketball hoop outside of your house. Play basketball for a little while. Whatever it is, just do something. Something that gives you a break from all the stress and all those things that we have going on in our lives. All right, you guys. So I have talked a lot about managing our stress. Now, quarantine is really difficult right now, but definitely use these tips to help manage your stress while being in quarantine. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. I for sure feel like a YouTuber right now. Um, make sure you guys are practicing social distancing. You guys are listening to all the quarantine rules out there. Stay indoors. Don't interact with anybody. And definitely make sure you wear a face mask if you go out in public. All right, you guys, stay safe. Reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks. Have a good rest of your day.